Tuesday. So apparently some people haven't been liking that guitar intro. Do you like it? I think I like it. There are a few people who think it's awesome, and then there's just... There's always that one person who just has to hate. Yeah. So apparently some people think I should just stick to turning because I possess no musical talent whatsoever. So today I brought out my classical guitar, which is probably my guitar of preference now. I do play a steel string, but... I am classically trained, you can say, so I'm more comfortable on a classical. looking piece of coco bolo for this pen got some really nice grain in it and i've actually never turned coco bolo so this should be fun okay so i'm going to take the two blanks and just try to hold them up there use a sharpie mark there take the other blank hold it i always mark just a little bit oversized just so i have some room to play with and I'll just extend those lines across the blank. And just so I don't lose the orientation, I'm just going to put a diagonal line through there. I'm just going to go ahead and cut at my two marks. put one of these into my pen drilling jig and this is basically a drill press vise. I don't own a drill press vise though so what I use is this 2x4 with a notch in the middle and I just sort of center up the blank in there and put a clamp on either end. Okay now let's go ahead and take this over to the drill press and drill this out with my 10 millimeter. two brass tubes into the pen blanks. I have Peter's Magical CA board and I've actually had quite a few questions saying that uh, the medium CA that I use to uh, glue the brass tubes into the pen blanks, when they try that it always goes brittle on them and it doesn't give them a good enough bond so they prefer epoxy. If you prefer epoxy then fine by me, I don't really care quite frankly, but uh, CA I find gives me a much stronger bond and epoxy never really held up too well for me. And uh, first thing I do is I take the brass tubes, little 320 grit sandpaper, whatever grit, and I just scuff down the shine on them because that shiny surface doesn't really bond too well to the wood. So if you scuff it down, you will get a lot more bonding going on and it'll give you a much stronger um, glue up. And then I'll take my actual brass tube here and just run a few beads along the surface. Now I'll insert it in the, pen, in the end of the pen blank opposite the one that I just ran CA in. And I'm just kind of twirling it and pulling it in and out to make sure I cover all surfaces on the brass tube. Okay, then I have my board and I just set the pen blank on there and just drag it across. That does two things. It will flush up the pen blank with the brass tube and it will also scrape off any excess CA glue. Okay, and I'll just let those sit to dry and fully cure up for a good while before I turn them. While we're waiting for those pen blanks to dry, I have a couple things I'd like to talk about. First is that I got a mini lathe, little tiny mini lathe. Uh, I bought this used. It is the Grizzly H8259 10x18 bench top lathe. 
So that is uh, 10 inches of swing, so I can do it up to a 10 inch bowl, and 18 inches between centers, but I already have my big, big lathe right over there, so that's for bowls. This one I'm just going to dedicate mainly to pens and pen stuff, so that's the lathe. I will probably be turning this pen on and probably all pens from now on. The other thing I want to talk about is I want to give a thank you to Steve Carmichael and Steve Ramsey for the stickers. I got a couple stickers from them in the mail today with some nice letters and stuff. And I'll put a link to both of their channels in the description if nobody has already heard of them, which I'm pretty sure everybody has. They're a couple of the really big woodworkers on YouTube. So thank you guys for the stickers, and I'll go put them up on the wall. start turning have my lathe all set up at 2800 rpms and i have my pen mandrel i'm just going to slip it in there like so i have my cigar pen kit bushings which i've had these for quite a while these have been around the block a few times go put on this one and i'll put on my shorter pen blank and i'll put on my second bushing and my third bushing oh yeah and i had this marked with a line for orientation, so let me go ahead and put this together the way it was supposed to go. If you didn't just catch that, I marked a line where the orientation of the wood was, where I cut it at, and I'm trying to line that back up. Okay, that's how it went. I'll go ahead and pull up my tailstock. So we'll go ahead and fire up the lathe. some seriously pretty green in there check out that okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the ends of the pen blank down to the bushing and sort of just curve it over a little bit and work on that in the shape that I want it to be. I'm just going to take my skew and just make a couple really, really light passes. And at this point, I wouldn't recommend this to beginning turners or just anybody who doesn't quite know how to use a skew and isn't very comfortable with the skew because if you dig in and turn that bevel in too much, you're going to end up gouging in and cutting a little deeper than you'd like. And that's going to be a pretty big mistake to try to fix. So you'd really just want to let the bevel ride completely up against the surface of the pen. Don't try to turn in too much, okay? Just let, just ride that bevel. So just keep it parallel to your work surface and just take some really light cuts across. So here we go. <laughs> got some really pretty grain in this. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to use the finish that I used to put on all my pens, and that is a General Finishes High Performance Water-Based Top Coat Gloss, and this is a poly acrylic finish. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. This finish takes uh, quite a bit and a lot of uh, coats before it starts to look really good. You kind of got to put on many coats before you get a nice gloss worked up. Um, I usually go up to seven coats. I think I'm going to go up to eight or nine, though. And then you just put on very thin coats each time just with a paper towel. Let it sit and dry. Scuff down the shine of the finish. Then put on the next coat and do that up until, like, your eighth or ninth coat. Okay, that first coat's nice and hard. So I'm going to take... Just some 800 grit sandpaper and just give it a really quick rub. I just want to take uh, whatever shine there is on this off so that the next coat will adhere to this. Okay, now I'll go ahead and put on the second coat. Well, this is 10 coats of finish on here. Yes, 10 coats. It is a bit of an involved process, but I think it came out really well, and it is always worth it. And, you know, I was going to stop at 9, and I was like, ah, I'm going to put on that one last coat, and I'm glad I did. It looks really good. Color really pops on this, and I'm pretty happy. So now I'm going to take this off and assemble. Now, I actually really want to make sure that when the pen is closed, when the twist mechanism is in the closed position that when I slide this other half on, I line up the grain. And the grain was going this way, so just ever so carefully. I'm gonna put those two together. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful pen. This, friends, is the nicest pen I've ever made. I, I think it is. I honestly think this may be the absolute nicest pen, hands down. Wow, that grain is just stunning. It really is. I'm going to put some photos up at the very end because I am actually really, really proud of this pen. It's not only the grain, it's the style pen. The cigar pen looks really nice. It's always been my favorite pen to make. And the coloring of the wood and the grain of the wood up against the gold and black pen kit and the style of the pen kit, the hardware, just... It really complements each other nicely. Job well done. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, this pen will be for sale on my eBay. And I'm charging $30 for this pen. So if you would like to purchase this pen, the money I make off this pen, that $30 will go towards a new lathe for myself. Um, I'm saving up for a Nova DVR 3000 lathe. I'm buying it used. It's only $1,000. And I'm really, I've been working really hard lately trying to get the money. I'm kind of in a pinch for money here. So, I mean, if you can just buy this pen for me, that would be really nice of you to do. And if you do buy it, send me a message. My email is in the description and let me know that you bought it. And, um, yeah, so the link to the eBay listing for this where you can buy this pen will be the first link in the description right down there. Just... Go down to your to the description and click that link and it'll take you to the listing for this. And if you don't feel like buying this pen for $30 or whatever, you can go to my eBay store. There's also a link down there for that. And there is other listings available with other pens and different things that I made myself that you can buy. And all the money for that will go towards that new lathe. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all next Friday.